Hi guys, Victoria here. Thank you so much for joining me. I've got my celebratory bunches on today to say thank you so much for subscribing because we're just coming up to a thousand likes. So this is my celebratory posting today. And uh, I just want to thank you for your likes, your shares, um, telling friends about it, but also your comments, requests and questions. They're always really interesting. Um, I, I love answering them, so please do keep in touch with me. Uh, keep sharing, keep subscribing is absolutely fantastic. It's grown so quickly, and I know a lot of that is on the back of those videos that I videoed many years ago that someone else posted. So, you know, that, that's great. It all spreads a little healing, so I don't mind that at all. So today I'm going to come to you to talk to you about a lymph shower. So what this does is it helps clear and rebalance lymph, that's the white blood cells in our bodies, in order to give you the best possible physical and mental day. Um, also, I'm going to show you something called switching, which will help you give you the best uh, approach to something coming up. So whether it's an interview, uh, maybe you're feeling just a bit discombobulated, great word. Um, also, uh, maybe you've, you've got a big event or going out for a meal or a first date or um, a Zoom call, anything coming up, then you might want to switch yourself first in order to give you the best possible approach. Okay, so I'll show you how to do that. But first, I just want to mention a couple of recent days that the world has experienced recently. One is World Health Day. And I'm hoping that my posting today, the lymph shower, will help tune into that a little and that you will find some new regular life pattern to be able to find better health in your life and for those of your loved ones. Also, we have, or we've had recently, World Stillness Day. And what a beautiful way to say thank you to yourself, your body, your, your own being for stillness. And stillness is, is silence, it's being at one with yourself. Um, I've always called it one time because you're you're at peace and you know sometimes stillness is the best possible way of being because when even we're with friends or family and loved ones and even if there is silence um, we don't have to fill with chatter we don't have to observe and remark and constantly talk do you know sometimes those moments of silence are the most special and it just shows that those people you can be in silence with are your special ones they're the ones that don't need you to be talking they're not requiring anything from you and whether you're going along in the car or having a cup of tea somewhere you know or having a walk silence is really special so absorb it and celebrate it and immerse yourself in silence. It, yeah, so World Silence Day, a, a beautiful day to enjoy. So we're going to get on with the lymph shower now. So with my bunches and my scarf, I'm wearing a scarf because the mic might pick up too much of the movements and be a little bit annoying with the noise. So let's see how this goes. I hope it's okay. So first of all, you get your index finger and your thumb, and it's just below the clavicle. The clavicle is the, uh, the top bone along here, and you're just going to massage um, in a quite agitating kind of way, just either side of your sternum, the breastbone, and underneath that clavicle, and just give that a really good massage. So that's the first place. We're doing about 10 places. The next one down, we're going to bump down a rib either side of your breastbone again. 
give it another stimulation. So just for a few seconds, maybe 10, 15 seconds in each place. Then bring your other hand into play. Come out slightly between the same two ribs and agitate again. And then in and down one more and agitate again. Oh, that one for me is feeling a bit sore. So it's a really nice observation to work out which of these places are feeling sore and why that might be. So all of these are acupressure points and they will all tune into a different part of you, a different system, and they will help promote good health by clearing lymph, clearing toxins, and encouraging your body to be the best it can possibly be that day, which is great, isn't it? The next place we're going to massage is either side of our chest, in that gap between your arm and shoulder and your chest. So it's easiest to bring your hand over and use the ends of your fingers in that little valley there. It forms a little semicircle. So give that a little health promotion. To the other side. Lovely. There I go again. I'm always saying the word lovely. <laughs> okay, so we've done the chest, we've done the sides of the arms. Next, we want to be coming down to underneath the ribs. So, this is a beautiful area. It's probably one of my favourite to clear out. And again, you're using either the sides of your little finger or the tips of your ends of your fingertips in a row. And you're clearing and promoting good health by massaging deeply under that rib there. Yeah, you can't really use your muscles at the same time. You have to have quite relaxed muscles while you're doing this. So just follow along. And you'll find it easier without talking like I am. That's great. Next, you're going to come either side of your belly button in a short line. That's it, just up and down, bounce that up and down. That feels great there. So that will help all of your digestive lymph. And there's a lot of digestive lymph. In our lymph system, which is the white blood cells, we have what I call a factory of lymph up here that's working for you to protect, and a factory of lymph in the groin. The groin takes away the lymph from the lower half of the body and in the chest from the upper half of the body. That's great. Okay, so we've done each side of the belly button. The next one would actually be on the pubic bone. So we have an area there called the pubis symphysis. And if you were to get two fingers or maybe the ends of each of your finger points and massage deeply how we've been doing here on your pubic bone, just give that a really good agitation, get that going so that it promotes uh, clearing of toxins from your legs and all around the hip pelvic area. And um, almost finally, on the lower half of the sacrum. So the sacrum is the flat area of bone at the base of the spine. And just below that, it just feels a bit bumpy. And that's where it accesses to the coccyx, the very end of our tail, if you like, of our spine. That's it, and really good massage, feels nice and warm. And then finally, this will really get you warm, two flat hands on each side of your uh, upper legs and this muscle is called the sterno, no it's not the sterno, it's the tensa fascia lata. I was just about to give you the neck muscle then, no this is the tensa fascia lata and you're going to massage quite strongly, nice and warm, either side of your upper legs to just above your knees. Lovely. get you nice and warm it might make you a little out of breath but that's okay so you have given yourself a lymph shower fantastic well done and that will promote 
something called neurological organization. And I'm going to show you now something that will do that really quickly. So for instance, before an interview or a first date or an event. So it's called switching. So again, that very first point we looked at earlier, it's actually called kidney 27. You're going to do that one, agitate it at the same time as your umbilicus, which is your tummy button. So just give those a nice massage, agitation. Okay, just for a few seconds. And next you're going to keep your hand on your chest there and you're going to agitate the side of your ribs. It's about a hand width down from your armpit. Here. Great. Same on the other side. Okay. So there are only five points for you to remember with switching and you can do this every day. The first one, as I say, is up underneath the clavicle and your umbilicus. The second one is your underneath the clavicle, which is kidney 27, and at the side here, which is called spleen 21. Same with the other side. And the third one is your umbilicus at the same time as, as your coccyx. Okay, um, and actually there are four points. So the, the, the last one, point four, is called heel strike. And you're just going to bounce on your heels three or four times to reverberate that action through the whole body, through the spine, and that will send a message to the rest of your body right up into the cognitive area of your nervous system in order to promote good health through neurological organization. That's your nervous system talking to your immune system. How wonderful is that? And that's when we are working on full steam and everything is, is um, associated and working correctly. How uh, fantastic. So I hope you managed to follow that okay. Maybe re-watch in order to do this every day or every other day. I recommend doing a lymph shower every other day and the switching at least every day and maybe before um, key events that you need to be combobulated. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. Thanks for subscribing and I'll see you again next week.